All right, day two in a row of actually making a little bit of content. This, is again, is just going to be a lazy single take on my cell phone, but I hadn't ridden the Ducati Street Fighter V4 SP2 very much lately because I'd put a new back tire on it and picked up a nail on my very first ride out. Uh, granted, it was a long ride. We were out for like eight hours, went all up around Tennessee and Roan Mountain, had a great time. I was able to patch the tire at the gas station, air it back up, get home. I even rode a couple times with the with the plug in the tire because the nail ended up actually like right in one of the tread grooves. So the plug wasn't making contact with the ground all the time or anything. But still, it's not very safe to have a plug tire on a motorcycle. It's just not worth it. And after I rode a little bit with it, I just I realized I needed a front tire too because the side of the tire, the tread was all the way down to the wear bars already so we got about 3,000 miles or so out of the back tire and around 3,800 out of the front tire I think and I went ahead and opted for the OEM tires that came on this bike again which is the Pirelli Rosso Corsa 4s they're kind of just like one step down from the super courses that are on the fire blade I'm not sure if these are going to last longer than the Super Courses. I'm kind of doing a little bit of a comparison between the two tires on the two different bikes. And if I get about the same mileage as I do out of the V4 Super Corsa tires, I'll just go with Super Courses from, from here on out. But So here's, here's the Street Fighter. Like I said, got new front and rear tires on it. So the old front tires, I was all the way down to the wear bar on the side here. The front or the center tread was actually still pretty good, but the side was pretty much gone. Got the same thing in the back here, those Pirellis. I went ahead and while this was off, I got the chain tension adjusted. Um, it, it is set correctly when the bike's actually on the ground and not in a stand. And I kind of just cleaned this up a little bit. There's my electronic shifter. And I, I want to go ride this, but this has been bugging me for a while. So watch what happens. Check this distance out when I squeeze this front brake. Let me try and get an angle where you can see it pretty good. So the first pull comes way back. That's if I'm squeezing it pretty hard. So look at that gap. And then I'm going to let it out and grab it again. Let it out, grab it again. Oh, look at that. So I don't know what has happened there. I have never really done anything with these brakes other than pulling the calipers on and off to take the wheel out and stuff. My fluid level, hard to see, but it looks really good. Uh, I think that just this must have a little bit of air in it from the factory. These are not factory levers either. These are the uh, TWMs from Moto Million. Great. These are a beautiful billet lever. They've got these really cool kind of cutouts here for drag reduction, which is ridiculous. But the adjustability on these is why I bought them. They are fantastic. They feel really nice. Clutch feels great. This has a hydraulic clutch, obviously. But that's what's going on here. I need to bleed that front brake. I don't really want to flush all of the fluid out of it. So I'm going to order an oil change kit from AMS Ducati and I'm going to order just the factory brake fluid that they use in here. Eventually I'll probably flush this for some of the Motul high temp brake fluid, but for now we'll just use a, a regular um, DOT like 5.1. I think that that uh, wet boiling point is 375 on that if I remember right, but the brakes work great. They're just your first bite on these. Um, you have way too much take up in here. I mean, even when they are pumped up, that, that's, that's too much take up here. This, this should not be quite like that. Like we compare over here on the fire blade, this has the same, uh, master and caliper setup. This is, that's what that should feel like. Just boom, super positive. It feels identical every time I push this. These brakes never fade, no matter how hot I get them. Like, these just work great. And since this setup is identical, we're going to go ahead and bleed these out once I get the right fluid for it. And do an oil change. Um, we did the first service on this, or I had Ducati do the first service. 
Ducati of Charlotte. They did a great job, went over the whole bike for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the oil change early. I know the manual calls for 6,000 miles, which I think is a little insane, especially with how hard these things get ridden. So personally, I, I should have changed this a little bit sooner. Um, you can kind of see in the sight glass, it's not as dirty as that looks. The camera's making it look just filthy, black, disgusting oil. It actually still does have some translucency to it. It's still brown, uh, but you can tell it's definitely getting dirty. So I want to go ahead and change that. And I think in the future, I'm going to try and stay on top of it and change it a minimum of every 2,500 miles because you do get some fuel dilution and stuff like that in there. You get carbon deposits in the oil. And I just want to make sure that this bike is really well taken care of. Same thing with the fire blade. It's rolling up on 2,000 miles. But I already have everything over here to change the oil in that guy again, as well as the Africa Twin. So, yeah, definitely staying busy in the garage. I've got these, and then I've got the three vehicles that we drive all the time. So, trying to maintain six vehicles with just maintenance and licensing and insurance is, uh, it's a little bit of a chore. <laughs> Uh, but it's, it, it's, it's its own reward at the same time. I'm not trying to complain at all here by any means with this kind of stuff. But like I said in the last video, truly blessed to have toys like this that I get to take out and ride anytime I want. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. Again, I'll try and make some more content. I definitely want to do some onboard stuff. I've got the Insta360. I just need a new chin mount for my new helmet for the GoPro. And you guys can get some first-person views on the fire blade want to take that out now that it's re-geared and do a couple polls to share and then we'll even do a comparison we'll do uh some polls on the fire blade and then we'll do some polls on the street fighter maybe next month too i'll pick up one of the draggy devices they're pretty inexpensive but then we can actually get some quantitative data on acceleration g forces stopping distances 60 to 130 times, 0 to 60 times, all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy the content.